Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Your weekly program, the program of wisdom and rationality, perception and thinking, awareness and vision, and the program for human dignity, honor and respect and the program for human consciousness, human meditation, literature and knowledge, and program to seek the actuality, reality and genuineness of things. Sarira, today on 21st of December 2012, and its host, Mr. Rashid, both are appearing before you. Some two weeks ago, we started to go back on to where we started our Sarira and to capture it in English. But last week, people insisted that I should repeat the program which I delivered some two years ago on the demise of my Sabha. And after that, since I have started this program in English, Events have been taking place on the globe which have somehow attracted Sarira to put, uh, put to, to give its input into the matters because they are very important matters. And what has emerged few days ago in reference to politics in Pakistan it has sent a cold shiver down my spine and I am stunned. Why I am stunned? What's my relationship with Pakistan is more than many have. Reason being, not only that I'm a humble Pakistani, but also I was educated in the school where the conceiver of Pakistan and the deliverer of Pakistan were educated. And they studied law in England, in the same institution where I followed their footsteps and studied law myself in the same school. And that's what makes me to try to understand and try to perceive what exactly those two gentlemen in the history of Pakistan were how they were thinking, how their personality developed in, in that institution and what they were capable of. That gave me an edge over other Pakistanis to try to go behind the mindset of those gentlemen. And as a result of that, you take it from me that what you saw unfolding in last few days in reference to Karachi, that was never in their foresight. That they never thought that Pakistan or any faction of Pakistan will turn into that. As a lawyer, I have kept myself restricted to my field. But uh, perhaps it will be relevant to let you know that 
I have also postgraduated in political science. In political science, in there, the politics, as I understand, is this: that it is there with very clever and intelligent people to serve the masses amongst whom they appear as intelligent people. And if you refer to my previous uh, episodes of Sarira, I told you that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala began to send instructors to the human societies so that they can uh, uh, find their way and path and uh, 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 get a peaceful life, whatever their period is on the earth, and then just go at the end of their lifespan. Politics, to me, is finding the solutions of the problems of the masses, not finding the solutions for your own problems, the problems of how you get rich, how you must you have uh, more cars, how must your children be very educated, and how must you carry on building your wealth and uh, other, other things. And over and above, your might, your personality to be worshipped by people. heroism, exploitation of raw feelings of people, and many other things. And in doing so, relying on some time on ethnic linguistic matters, ethnic color matters, and ethnic racial matters, or ethnic religious matters. Well, let me remind people, what did our beloved prophet, because this is new TV, and we only talk through the teachings of Quran and prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and see what he had said and how he canvassed and had the foresight of today's events, which are unfolding in Pakistan, and how he uh, came on them said this in his last sermon, and I think that I'm going to tell you this, I have never ever found its importance as relevant to the present time as much as I find it now. Today's, for today's situation in Pakistan, this sermon was given 1400 years ago. And he says this, and I read you the relevant parts. Oh people, Lend me an attentive ear, for I know not whether after this year I shall ever be amongst you again. Therefore listen to what I am saying to you very carefully and take these words to those who could not be present here today. O oh people, Just as you regard this month, this day, this city as sacred, so regard the life and property of every Muslim as sacred trust. Return the goods entrusted to you to their rightful owners. Hurt no one so that no one, no one may hurt you. Remember that you will indeed meet your Lord. And then it goes on and says this, All mankind is from Adam, Adam and Eve. An Arab has no superiority over a non-Arab, nor does a non-Arab have any superiority over an Arab. White has no superiority over black, nor does a black have any superiority over a white. 
none have superiority over another except by piety and good action. Learn that every Muslim is a brother to every Muslim and that the Muslims continue constitute one brotherhood. Nothing shall be legitimate to a Muslim which belongs to a fellow Muslim unless it was given freely and willingly. Do not therefore do injustice to yourself. Remember that you will return to Allah and answer for all your deeds. Now apply that unto the present day Pakistan and ask yourself, have the Pakistani politicians understood the message of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? And have they applied it in that society politically, sociologically, economically, and legally, or otherwise? This sermon, which was delivered to abolish the racial discrimination, the linguistic discrimination, the regional discrimination and the color discrimination. All the discriminations to be abolished once and for all and everybody to be brought within one brotherhood. But today I tell you what has happened, the events which unfolded on the screens of Pakistani channels they kept me awake and so awake that I heard these speeches from this particular group of people coming from a particular city. And the contents of it, the language uh, deployed in those speeches, and the demeanor in which they were delivered, they sent a cold shiver down my spine, and I'm stuck. Sarira does not talk about these things so, with so much detail. But if I remain silent today, tomorrow's Pakistan will never forgive me. That why didn't Sarirahpur have its input in, the, in this situation, the scenario which is unfolding now? Pakistan, a beautiful country, a country of beautiful people, but of very arrogant, very bitter, very selfish, very self-centered, and very terrible leaders in every way, in every province, and in every party. And I am addressing this particular Sarira to them, not to people of Pakistan. The poor people, what can they do? They only stand there to be exploited. One comes, Iqbal knew that, Iqbal said, whenever the poor people ever think that our leaders are not doing good to us, he said, Phir sula deti hai unko hukmran ki sahiri. He comes and he explains in such a way take them in, their, in, their, in his pocket and they are left behind with nothing. Politics is not looking after yourself. Politics is to resolve the problems of the masses. I don't know what is coming after what I have seen. It has come out. 
And how it has come out? Just because a judge sitting in a court in Pakistan, whatever came before him, whatever evidence was presented to him, on the basis of that, he made his comment and the whole hell has broken loose. That is why courts are there, to make uh, comments. Here the courts have make, made such comments. If any of those comments have been made over there, I don't know what would happen then. I remember when uh, uh, Criminal Justice 2003 came out, enacted by uh, Blair regime, the courts went after it and one of the criticism was, well, there was no dignity in this, there was no dignity of language, the dignity of concept, but the law has been made by the parliament and we have to deal with it, no matter how lamentably they have performed. And there was no hue and cry. Nobody said anything. Neither the Labour Party, not the government, nothing, because there is rule of law here. And the courts have a right to comment when, if and when they think it's necessary. And the only way is this, that you go and ask them to revise it and please tell us, give us a reasoning behind that, that why did you come to this conclusion? That's a civilized way. How can you have a democratic society if you do not have a very strong legal system in terms of the...